good morning everyone so Friday morning and we are offloading some bales of hay uh, these are the last of the hay that was made whilst I was away uh, yeah these bales were made whilst I was in Corfu and uh, they've been outside over the last week and a half uh, they're actually sold, but uh, the customer who has the purchased hadn't just got time to come and pick them up. So we decided to take them in and uh, put them in the shed because we had some very bad forecast uh, weather-wise over the last uh, over last night and today. So yeah, that was the that was the reasoning for taking them in. Uh, so we went last night loaded them all up on, on a few trailers and uh, yeah we're just gonna offload we're gonna offload this trailer here and we've some then on a some on the jeep and trailer as well which we might offload as, as well we leave the ones on the big trailer maybe just for the minute but uh, yeah that's kind of that's kind of all we're at at the moment uh, we had some very heavy rain overnight uh, as forecast uh, some thunder, some lightning uh, it actually had our power off overnight as well power didn't come back on until about 10 o'clock this morning so yeah we're getting a bit, bit of unsettled weather at the moment uh, but yeah what do you do it's all Kenny can get that once you get into August uh, we'll be hoping that it will dry up and we'll get a few more dry spells over the next couple or three weeks uh, we've, we've a small bit of hay still to make we've got, well, it's about 16 acres, it's not that small but some of it could be round bales for silage if we needed to uh, we have to make about 200 round bales of silage for for our cows for when they're uh, grazed uh, away from the farm for those first three or four months uh, the winter uh, they usually just come home then for farm, for a uh, for calving, so yeah, we'll be away for a while. Uh, yeah, some people are on to me asking me for my views on the beef plan movement and uh, everything that's going on with that at the moment and what, I, what my thoughts were on it. Um, initially, I have to admit, for the first couple of weeks, I thought that it was probably a waste of time. Uh, it seemed very similar to a lot of other uh, protests that we've had in the past from farmers at, at factories. I've took part in some of them myself. Uh, and yeah, you protest for a day or two, give up on the protest, nothing had changed, everything had stayed the same. Uh, and it all seemed like a waste of time. And this seemed pretty similar you, because like for the first week of it, um, most of the cattle that were going for slaughter were still getting killed. Uh, it wasn't really affecting the factories that much. It was getting no coverage in the news. So I kind of thought, well, it's more of the same. Looks like it's going to be a waste of time again. But I have to say now, in the last few days, the fact that now we see that the, the news coverage has really picked up quite a bit. Uh, they're using social media to a certain degree now, uh, especially the especially the Galway part of the beef plan movement. They're doing stellar work and uh, in what they've done on social media. Um, yeah, and I, 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 the fact too that they've now stopped the, the the factories from getting the cattle killed is a huge is a huge part of it too, uh, because it's. It's now hitting the factory pockets as well as our own. Uh, so look at it, we just have to see. It's gonna be interesting now over the next over the next couple of weeks. Uh, until we see what what happens, you know. But uh, it's definitely not just more of the same. It seems to be that that uh, they're gonna stick it out. Uh, and they should do. Like we have cattle to kill and we're not we're not going to sell them at the moment we need to get them killed uh, they're of an age to where <coughs> excuse me they're of an age now where they need to be killed killed uh, some of them are going to start going over age 
offloaded the last of the hay. Uh, we took the, the flat trailer up on the back of the Jeep. There was six bales on that and offloaded them in there as well. So altogether we've we've offloaded 26 bales here uh, which are sold. So that's these two rows that's straight in front of us. Uh, and all these rows then to the left uh, of those 20 of those bales, of all those there's about 20 bales sold. I think there was about 50 went in there uh, altogether. So um, yeah, 20 of those are sold. Uh, so we've still got a good bit of space for bales. If uh, if we do get this other piece of land made in hay in the next couple of weeks, um, like we probably have about the end of the month to get it made, or even in early September you could get it. But uh, if we do get it made, we should have plenty of space to store it here. Um, like what we've left in here is there's some bales in the back there from last year. Uh, and a lot of those are kind of spoken for already, so uh, they'll be gone by the time that hay is made. Uh, as a few people, it's just you kind of using them over the summer, and they've been taking bales and ones and twos, so uh, we'll we'll get them out of there, and it'll free up that whole that whole side. There is some some wool there in jumbo bags as well, which has belonged to the owner of the shed. Uh, the shed is nares. We only we only uh, have the use of it for for the winter, so. Uh, we've been using it for about 10 years now. Uh, it's quite a good hay shed. The guy who owns it doesn't need it. He has, uh, on his main part of the farm, he's got a, a good big hay shed on it, so he doesn't he doesn't use this one here. And yeah, he's let us use it for years, so it's it's good to be able to, uh, to, able to use it. We've done a few bits of repairs. We've fixed spoutons on it and um, put new timbers on the sides of it. And, uh, just done a bit of repairs on it over the years and uh, yeah it's great great to be able to use it it's it's not too far from our, our own yard it's only just about a quarter of a mile up the road so uh, to have a shed like that right beside you is uh, yeah it's worth its weight in gold so uh, yeah so that's that's really it um, that's that's really it for today uh, don't know what I'm at after in the afternoon but uh, if there's anything interesting going on, I'll make a video on it. Uh, as always, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to comment, hit the like button, and uh, also subscribe as well, and ring the little bell, so it'll, it'll give you a little notification then every time I make a video. So until tomorrow, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you then.